a garden of secrets. In the quiet town of Greenridge, where laughter echoed through the streets like a soothing melody, lived three inseparable friends, Rose, Mary, and Julie. Their days were painted with the vibrant hues of shared secrets, innocent adventures, and the warmth of their enduring friendship. One sunny afternoon, the trio found themselves in Rose's backyard, a small haven of blooming flowers and whispering trees. The air was filled with the sweet fragrance of petunias and daisies as they sat in the shade, sheltered from the sun by the old oak tree that stood tall in the corner. Did you hear about the old mansion on Maple Street? Julie asked, her eyes wide with curiosity. Mary leaned in, her face reflecting intrigue. What about it? They say it holds a secret garden, hidden behind its ivy-covered walls, Julie whispered, her voice filled with mystery. Rose's eyes sparkled with excitement. A secret garden? We should go and explore. And so, the trio embarked on a quest to uncover the mysteries of the mansion on Maple Street. The old wrought iron gate creaked as they pushed it open, revealing a neglected pathway that led to the heart of the overgrown garden. As they wandered through the tangled vines and wildflowers, the air became heavy with anticipation. Mary pointed to a peculiar-looking rosebush in the corner. Look at this one. It's different from the others. The roses on that bush were not just any roses, they glowed with an otherworldly radiance. The friends exchanged astonished glances. In the midst of their excitement, a soft voice echoed from behind them. You found it. They turned to see a mysterious figure, a woman with silver hair and eyes that seemed to hold the secrets of the universe. She introduced herself as Eleanor, the keeper of the garden. This garden has the power to reveal the deepest desires of one's heart, Eleanor explained, her eyes gleaming with ancient wisdom. Intrigued, the friends took turns expressing their wishes. Rose wished for happiness, Mary for success, and Julie for adventure. Eleanor nodded and handed each of them a small, enchanted seed. Plant these seeds in your own hearts, and watch your wishes bloom, she said with a knowing smile. The trio returned to Green Ridge, each planting their seed with hope in their hearts. Days turned into weeks and the once-forgotten wishes began to manifest. Rose found joy in the simple pleasures of life, her days filled with laughter and warmth. Mary's career flourished beyond her wildest dreams, and Julie embarked on thrilling adventures that took her to distant lands. But as the garden granted their wishes, a subtle change occurred. The friends began to drift apart, their lives pulling them in different directions. One day, they gathered under the oak tree in Rose's backyard, reminiscing about the magical garden and the wishes that had come true. It's strange, isn't it? Mary mused. We got everything we wanted, but it feels like something is missing. Julie nodded in agreement. I miss our old adventures, our shared secrets. Rose, too, felt a pang of nostalgia. Maybe the real treasure was the friendship we had. Let's go back to the garden and ask Eleanor if there's a way to bring it back. Back at the mansion on Maple Street, they found Eleanor waiting amidst the radiant roses. The air was heavy with the fragrance of unspoken words. We wish to return to the way things were, Rose pleaded, her eyes filled with longing. Eleanor's gaze softened. The garden cannot undo what has been done, but it can show you a path to rediscover what you seek. With a wave of her hand, the garden transformed, revealing a hidden passage that led to a small clearing. In the center stood a magical mirror that reflected the essence of true friendship. As they looked into the mirror, the friends saw the joy of shared secrets, the laughter of innocent adventures, and the warmth of enduring friendship. And in that reflection, 
they found what they had been searching for. With newfound understanding, the trio embraced each other, their hearts rekindled with the bond that had once been lost. As they left the enchanted garden, Eleanor's voice lingered in the air. Sometimes, the greatest treasure is not in the wishes we make, but in the love we share. And so, hand in hand, Rose, Mary, and Julie returned to Greenridge, their friendship stronger than ever, carrying the magic of the secret garden in their hearts. As the trio returned to Greenridge, the magical echoes of the secret garden lingered in their hearts. Life resumed its normal course, but the friends carried a newfound appreciation for their bond. They spent their days cherishing the simple moments, knowing that true treasure lay in the laughter they shared. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the town, Rose, Mary, and Julie gathered once again in Rose's backyard. They sat under the old oak tree, its branches swaying in the gentle breeze. Remember how everything changed when we found that garden? Julie reflected, a nostalgic smile playing on her lips. Yeah, but the best part was realizing that what we truly wanted was right here, Mary added, gesturing towards her friends. Rose nodded, her eyes sparkling with gratitude. Let's make a pact. No matter where life takes us, we'll always find our way back to each other. And so, the friends sealed their pact with a promise under the rustling leaves of the oak tree. Little did they know that their friendship would soon face its greatest test. Months passed, and life took unexpected turns. Mary's demanding job required her to move to a bustling city, while Julie found herself drawn to the call of distant horizons, seeking new adventures. Rose, torn between her friends and family, faced a difficult decision. In the face of these challenges, the friends clung to their pact, determined to weather the storms that threatened to pull them apart. They exchanged letters, sharing the highs and lows of their separate lives. The oak tree in Rose's backyard became the silent witness to the passage of time, its branches a reminder of the enduring bond between the three friends. One day, a letter arrived from Julie, inviting Rose and Mary to a reunion in a quaint little town nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks. Excitement tinged with apprehension filled their hearts as they embarked on the journey. The reunion was bittersweet. Laughter echoed through the air as they reminisced about old times, but an unspoken tension lingered beneath the surface. The friends felt the weight of the changes that had shaped them, and the once unbreakable bond seemed fragile. As they sat in a quiet corner of the town square, Julie broke the uneasy silence. I've been offered a chance to explore uncharted territories. It's an adventure of a lifetime, but it means being away for a long time. Mary exchanged a glance with Rose, and a heavy silence settled over them. The familiar warmth of their shared laughter felt distant, overshadowed by the looming reality of their divergent paths. In that moment, a gentle voice interrupted their thoughts. True friendship is not bound by proximity but by the love that connects hearts. Startled, the friends turned to find Eleanor, the keeper of the secret garden, standing before them. She smiled knowingly, her silver hair gleaming in the soft moonlight. You carry the magic within you. It's not the garden that binds you, but the memories you've created and the love you share, Eleanor whispered. The friends looked at each other, a silent understanding passing between them. The secret garden had given them the gift of rediscovery 
And now, faced with the inevitability of change, they realized that their friendship was a living, breathing entity that transcended time and space. With renewed certainty, Rose, Mary, and Julie embraced each other, their hearts intertwined with the invisible threads of love and shared history. As they parted ways once more, the unspoken promise echoed in their hearts, no matter where life took them, their friendship would endure. And so, under the watchful gaze of the old oak tree and the twinkling stars above, the friends embarked on their separate journeys, carrying the magic of the secret garden with them, forever bound by the invisible ties of friendship that time could never erase. Years passed since the friends, Rose, Mary, and Julie, had parted ways, each pursuing their own adventures and dreams. The quaint town of Greenridge underwent changes, yet the echo of their laughter and the memories of the secret garden lingered in the hearts of those who knew their story. One day, a letter arrived for Rose. The elegant handwriting on the envelope revealed it was from Julie. I'm coming back to Greenridge. Let's meet at the old oak tree where we used to gather. Excitement surged through Rose as she read the letter. The prospect of reuniting with Julie after all these years brought a mix of emotions, anticipation, nostalgia, and the faint stirrings of the magic they had discovered in the secret garden. The day of the reunion arrived and Rose found herself standing beneath the old oak tree, the familiar leaves rustling in the breeze. A figure appeared on the horizon, and soon Julie, now adorned with tales of exotic lands and the glow of newfound experiences, stepped into the clearing. They embraced, the years apart melting away in the warmth of their friendship. As they exchanged stories, Mary's absence loomed large in their conversations. Julie mentioned that she had sent a letter to Mary as well, urging her to join the reunion. Days passed and the anticipation grew. The trio reunited at the garden gate of Rose's backyard, the same gate that had led them to the secret garden years ago. This time, however, a sense of anticipation hung in the air, as if the garden itself held a secret yet to be revealed. As they entered the garden, the familiar roses glowed softly in the sunlight, but a new addition caught their eye, an ancient-looking well at the center of the clearing. Intrigued, they approached it, and Julie noticed an inscription carved into the stone. The well of shared dreams, she read aloud. What could it mean? Without hesitation, Rose tossed a coin into the well and made a wish. I wish for the bond of our friendship to grow stronger, transcending time and distance. Following suit, Julie and Rose made their wishes, the well echoing with the whispers of their shared dreams. As they turned to leave, a shimmering light enveloped them, and the air crackled with magic. In that moment, the friends found themselves transported to a realm suspended between dreams and reality. Before them stood Mary, her eyes reflecting the surprise mirrored in theirs. You made it, Julie exclaimed, a mixture of joy and relief in her voice. Mary explained that she had received Julie's letter and, intrigued by the prospect of a reunion, had decided to join. The friends embraced, their laughter echoing through the mystical realm. As they explored this dreamlike space, they realized that the well had woven the threads of their wishes into a tapestry of shared dreams. The bond forged in the secret garden had transcended time, and now they could navigate the realms of reality and dreams together. The trio returned to Greenridge, their friendship now intertwined with the magic of the well of shared dreams. The town, too, seemed to have been touched by their connection, as if the echoes of their laughter had left an indelible mark on the place. And so, Rose, Mary, and Julie continued their journeys, 
each pursuing their dreams yet forever bound by the shared dreams that had brought them back together. The secret garden had not only granted their wishes but had also gifted them a timeless connection that would endure through the passage of days and the unfolding of new adventures.